Hey everybody, I'm Miss Dawn, your teen librarian, and in this video, I'm going to show you how to sew a felt piggy bank. First, you want to take your piece of felt and then you want to fold it in half because you need two felt piggies. Next, cut out your piggy template and then you're going to put it on your felt and you're going to pin it in place. These pins are sharp, so be very careful. Next, you wanna cut it out. You can draw around your paper template or if you're feeling really adventurous, just take your scissors and start cutting. Next, we're going to make the coin hole. So take one of your piggies, fold it in half, and then you're going to just make a small slit, smaller than mine, mine was too long, two slits and cut it. Once again, mine was too long and crooked. So don't be like me, make yours shorter. Next, we're gonna learn how to sew a button for the eye. So take your button and find a place where you want the eye to go. But first, you do have to thread your needle. So if you don't know how to thread a needle, watch this. If you do, you can skip ahead. So take your thread and we're gonna use white thread because we want to see the white thread against the black button. It's for aesthetic. Find the eye of the needle, pull the thread through, and you want to make sure you have two pieces of thread or two strands of thread. And this is so that your stitch will be strong. Then you're going to tie a knot. This is how I tie a knot. You don't have to do it like mine, it does take practice. Just get a knot however you can. The important part is that the thread does not go through your fabric. Next, you want to start from the back. You always start from the back of your project so that the knot is hidden. Find a hole, pull through, and then you're gonna go through a diagonal hole in your button. And repeat this step two or three times. Now you're going to repeat for the other two buttons. Remember to start from the back, go diagonal, and repeat this two or three times. Finally, you want to secure your stitch. You always secure your stitch. So just find any piece of the fabric, go through it, Find that loop that you made and pull under. And repeat this step two or three times and then cut. Next, you wanna grab your black embroidery thread. You wanna pull a piece carefully with this thread because it will make knots and cut. Next, you're gonna to want to pull one piece of the embroidery thread from the group. Now we are using embroidery thread instead of regular thread because embroidery thread is thicker. Once again, carefully pull because this thread will create knots really quickly. Once 
Once again, you want to thread your needle, but this time you don't want two strands, you only want one. Because remember, embroidery thread is thicker than sewing thread. So tie a knot at the top of the needle and at the bottom because you don't want it to go through. Now we're going to sew a running stitch along your coin hole. Now this is not really for function, it's just for aesthetic. So you can skip this step if you don't want to do it. Once again, this is called a running stitch. Remember, always go through from the back because you wanna hide that uncool looking knot. And then you're going to go back through and make a stitch. And you're going to repeat all around the hole. The important thing with this stitch is you want your stitches to be on a straight line and you want them to be the same width apart. If some of them are a little longer or shorter or they kind of go above the line or below the line, that's okay. It's just practice and then the next time just try a little harder to make your stitches look even. Once again, it's just for aesthetic. Next, put your two piggies together and clamp them closed like this. Now we're going to sew it closed using a blanket stitch. Watch me. Remember, you wanna hide that ugly knot, so go between the folds, like this. So go through the back and try to push your needle through the stitch you just made, as you can see in the video, and pull, but not all the way. So then you're going to go under that loop and pull and then repeat all the way around. For this blanket stitch, I am using two strands of embroidery thread. So when I made the stitch around the coin hole, remember I said embroidery thread is thicker, you only need one strand. But for this one, I decided to do two strands because I wanted the thread to show up a little bit more. It's your choice. You can use one strand of embroidery thread or two. Remember to try and keep your stitches looking as similar as possible. So try and keep them on the same line and have the same width each time. If your stitching is a little wonky, that's okay. Practice makes perfect even in sewing. When you do your next piggy, just try a little bit harder. When you run out of thread, and you will, you have to close your stitch. So at the top of your piggy, find some of your thread, go under it. Don't pull all the way, because you want to go under the loop you made, then you pull through. Do that a couple more times, then cut. Then re-thread your needle, and continue on until your piggy's closed. And that's it. You learned how to sew a button and how to do a blanket stitch. You can put your piggy on your bedside table or a bookshelf and you can empty out your change at the end of the day. And then when you hear that ice cream man this summer, grab your piggy, run out there and get yourself ice cream sandwich. Don't forget to follow ZB Teens on Instagram and Facebook for daily activities, contests and book reviews. Bye.